Breaking news on UK reads. All deadlines are extended by three years. In this Chemical Conferences News Flash, James Dempsey, head of UK reads service and policy at DEFRA, answers three questions on this important UK reads update. James, thanks for making time for us. Could you give us a short summary of the new deadlines? Yes, hi, Chert. Um, good to speak to you again. Yes, indeed, as your listeners uh, may be aware, um, in, in December last year, um, UK government announced our intention um, to explore uh, an alternative transitional registration model uh, for UK REACH. Um, the reason being to try to sort of reduce cost to industry um, of accessing data packages um, for UK REACH um, registrations. Um, it's quite a complex and technical piece of work, as I'm sure you can understand, um, and one in which we also have to look at uh, ensuring high levels of uh, sort of environment and health protections, uh, and policy development in that space is still ongoing at the moment. Uh, however, the first UK REACH deadline, um, registration deadline as it stands, is October 2023. Um, so this summer um, we held a consultation um, to extend uh, the transitional registration deadlines. Uh, the primary reason, reason, reason being um, that we need uh, time to both uh, develop a new policy and legislate and implement any, any changes, uh, and also to make sure um, businesses didn't incur any unnecessary costs uh, during, that, during that period. Um, so we've just published our response uh, to that consultation uh, in which we um, have said we intend to extend those deadlines um, by a further three years. Um, so the current deadlines being October 2023, uh, October 25 and October 2027. Uh, and so those deadlines would be extended uh, to um, October 26, 2028 and 2030. Um, so the next step uh, now uh, is to uh, legislate um, to make those changes come into force, uh, and we intend to do that um, by um, by summer 2023. Okay. Is there also news on the expected data required? So yes, we're still in the process of developing those proposals. Um, as I said earlier, um, what we are, you know, what we are looking at in more detail um, is looking at how we might um, change the, the hazard requirements of the, of the registration um, uh, to try and sort of negate the need. Um, to um, negotiate access or pay for access to those uh, sometimes expensive data packages. Um, and at the same time, we're also looking at to see how we might uh, improve uh, the information uh, we get on the use and exposure of substances in, in the Great Britain context. Um, I should probably also add and clarify um, that for, for new or novel substances, um, so those, those chemical substances which haven't been registered uh, with the EU or the UK before, um, we don't intend to, to make any changes um, to, to the current policy. Um, but back to alternative uh, transitional registration model. Um, so, as I said, <coughs> still working on policy at the moment, um, hoping to do put some more proposals and have those available uh, for more detailed discussions and consultations uh, next year in, in 2023. Final question. Late down to use import notifications have been allowed so far. Will this late dune option remain for the coming period? So yes, absolutely. Anyone who hasn't made a downstream user import notification, um, who thinks they they should they should have or indeed or indeed could do, um, I would encourage them to do so now uh, to bring themselves back into compliance. Uh, and that function um, is still available um, on UK Reach IT at the moment. So as I say, I would encourage anyone in that position uh, to come along and and make that notification. James, thanks a lot for your comprehensive update. More on UK Reads and Chemical the Americas 2023 in March in San Francisco.